We're looking at the Rock 64 today. This is from Pine 64. You remember them from last week's show. We looked at the A64 LTS. Now, this week, we're looking at this credit card-sized board, so half the size easily, and pretty close to the size of a Raspberry Pi, I would say. We're going to find out when I measure it there. This one... Should we just get into the box? Yes, Let's, Because this is an unboxing, right? I'll talk while I unbox. Here we go. So it kind of actually has a reminiscent look to a Raspberry Pi, if you will. Let's get in here. The Rock 64 is... Are you ready for this, Sash? I am. 4K. Cool. 60 frames per second. It's got full-sized HDMI. We've got an AV port there. We've got gigabit ethernet. Wow. Okay. This has got a four core processor. It's the ARM Cortex A5364 bit processor. And are you ready? Oh, I keep saying I'm excited about this, Sash. <laughs> this one comes in three different models. They all look pretty much the same, but there is a one gig model, which would put it on par memory wise. So I'm talking about the RAM here, would put it on par with the Raspberry Pi 3B plus as far as the memory goes. There's a two gig model, which puts it on par as far as the capacity of the memory goes with say an XU4. And there is a four gigabyte model. It's uh, DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM. And let's get a look at the board itself here. So we've got a micro SD port at, at the bottom here. This is for your micro SD card, which is pretty traditional for um, these small uh, single board computers. I've got the four gig model, yes. And then on this side, once again, we end up with an eMMC, pardon me, eMMC uh, interface. So that again is uh, a different type of storage from the micro SD. It's more reliable, it's faster, and it's just a chip that we can snap right onto the board there. And this device already has Android 7.1 available for it. It's got uh, a Debian um, insta installation that's available for it, um, Yocto, which I haven't seen, uh, and a lot more coming. Now, this is a brand new board, so we're going to see a lot of distributions coming out on this uh, over the next little while. It has, you can see a, a couple of different GPIOs here. So we've got the uh, the Pi 2 bus, we've got the Pi uh, P5 Plus bus, we've got... Can you move that a little bit closer to the ruler just for me? You Sorry. want me to see? Yes. Am I out you. of the frame? A little can bit. Can you see yeah. this? Look there at the GPIO go. there. Thanks, Sasha. Um, okay, I can't see it like you see it. I'm seeing this live and I want to bring it closer to me. Uh, okay, we've got USB 2.0. We've got two of those. We've got one blue one. What do you think the blue stands for? That's a USB 3 port, my friends. I already mentioned gigabit Ethernet. And of course, just like um, you would expect with the GPIO that's available on this board, we can do all kinds of things with this. If you're a maker, if you want to add some sensors to it or other devices uh, connected to this device, you can do that. Got a couple of other cool little things here. Uh, first of all, on board, we have a power and reset button that's built right into the, uh, to the circuit board here. And there's also a, a restore button as well. And once again, oh, before I get to the barrel jack, uh, this is kind of interesting. This looks cool. Uh, we've got the infrared sensor built right in as well. And over here is the barrel jack. That's a 3.5 uh, millimeter barrel connector, uh, which is incidentally the same as the one that we've reviewed in the past. So five volts, three amp, and that's gonna take it just like that. So that's where you get your power from. There's no micro USB to be finicky or ah. anything like that. What do you think of that? I love it. Beautiful. Not a lot more that I can tell you on an unboxing video, but it looks well built. I'm excited about it. Got a heat sink I'm going to put on it. Let's get the measurements for you. How am I in the frame? Good now. Fantastic. All right. This way, we've got five and a half inches. That can't be right. What, is, what are these measurements, Sasha? <laughs> That's a one crazy ruler, Robbie. That is one crazy ruler. Maybe br there bring, we go. It, bring it a little bit Maybe more Maybe it's like not you. metric. 
Bring it up. Yeah, there we go. That'll Thanks. be easier to read. Okay, two inches. I'm like, that is not five inches. <laughs> wow. Two inches and three millimeters, four millimeters, give or take. This way, I don't know what measurements these are. I'm going to have to look at this off the air. Maybe it's like some, like we work in metric. This is all, oh yeah, it's centimeters. Cool. And this way, we are one, two, three and a quarter inches and maybe a millimeter or two. There you go. So roughly the same size as a Raspberry Pi 3. In this box here, got a nice little case for it. Can these devices be powered over PoE? This one, uh, I don't believe has PoE, as a matter of fact. But uh, you could, I suppose, do a PoE um, splitter. You could oh. buy a splitter that has the correct barrel adapter and power it that way. So we've got these kind of risers. Once again, similar kind of design to ones we've looked at in the past from Pine 64. So the board is going to go right on there. Then we've got the riser that goes up there. And then the Plexi with the Rock 64 logo this time goes right up there. There you have it. So sharp. Beautiful. I can't wait to fire that one up as well. We're going we're gonna to have to put these things head to head. And this one with 4K 60p and a very nice processor and 4 gigs of RAM and eMMC and USB 3. We're going to uh, need to put some games on there as well and see how it performs with RetroPie or something like that. Um, now, we are going to need, if you want Bluetooth for controllers or something like that, you're going to need a Bluetooth dongle or possibly a Wi-Fi dongle if you want to get it on Wi-Fi instead of using Gigabit Ethernet. Uh, but this is a great-looking maker board. Can't wait to fire her up.